Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Welcome back. It is the recommendation system in the Python. Today's topic is Archbase Collaborating System. So, the last time we have been through the user based collaborating filtering, we just find where we just find the similarity between the person and item. So, there is some issue that could be pointed out here and could be overcome in this video. And we will, we will try to overcome this issue in this video. So, the reason that if you implement the user based collaborating filter into the smile databases, it's okay, it will work because every time if the data, if your data set is small and you have calculation inside the loop and you have to find a similarity inside the loop, so that's going to be okay. But if you have large databases like Amazon, then it is not going to be appreciated in that scenario what i mean to say is if you look at the item based user based collaborating system here is a similarity finding between the person and other whatever but this is inside the loop if this is if these names are less so it's going to be very easy uh, it's okay but this game a number you know names are person increased to the millions so how gonna we do this so in that scenario, this this mechanism is not appreciated that much because the solution for this is will suggest in the next slide. So another thing, what if you find the similarity between the item to item? So what is the reason that we try to move to find to try to move to the next option where we just need to find the similarity between the person to uh, item to item? That scenario can can be faced when your user have no experience on your data on, on your online website for by experience i mean aligning purchase activity even though he is not or she is not logged or registered in your website so how are you going to recommend other items of same nature what he or she looking for for example if you just go and visit amazon without any registration or sign up it will also recommend the same nature item what you're looking for so that is the scenario of item based collaborating system that is a solution for these two issues that we discuss so what it provides us what item based collaborating system provides us so item based collaborating system provides us the pre-computed portion pre-computed portion means that inside the loop you do not have to calculate the similarity for every person in a runtime what if you have a thing, a math, a, a technique where you just pre-calculated all the similarity about every person, and uh, in uh, depends that you either want you want to keep record of a similarity between the person to person or item to item. It depends on you, but both are possible. But if you have already stored all the calculation of similarity. And inside the loop, you just index the dictionary or whatever you want and it retrieve. And this time, you do not have to calculate. So this is this is time saving. This time, this is time saving, and you do not have to be and loop inside the loop. You do not have to wait and return the similarity score. Wait for returning similarity score. So in that case, it is very helpful to. It is very good to move to the item based collaborative filter if your database is large, huge like Amazon. Let's go to the code and jump and see what, how can we do this. So uh, here is the code uh, we need to discuss. We we need to, um, we will just uh, create a function where we will, uh, basically during the implementation, we have to do two things. We have to focus on two things. Because uh, last time, if you if you see, there is a similarity calculation in, in inside the loop. So we will just avoid this. Uh, as as we have mentioned in the slide, that could be an issue if in in a large database is it is it is not that much appreciative. So uh, uh, the uh, item based collaborating system uh, provides a mechanism that uh, we can pre pre compute all uh, these similarity between item to person or person to item, whatever you want to keep in the standard. So uh, we have to just for the first time we have first we have to find the um, pre compute we have to do pre compute part of this coding. So we just name this simply diff calculate 
calculate similar similar items in data in n by default is 3 so it means that data will come and uh, more uh, at least three similar item if not mentioned in a parameter and okay this is uh, let's just convert this into the code okay uh, what will we do here let's comment just first creating creating dictionary of item which show which items are most similar here we go so how we gonna do this so result we will store every every score against whatever you want to say result will be returned okay mm, okay uh, we need uh, movies because we are looking for the movies most related item to the item so item where we have and this place we have item so we have to find similar item so uh, uh, it means that we need a movie's name so, so how can we do this so print there okay there is another two well, so data okay okay okay, okay. What, one thing i need to mention here is i need to mention here because it is easy, easy to understand i don't want to mention this okay so what is the data format here the theory so it means you have to just re rerun everything so that it can be refreshed in the kernel wall. It's coming right. If in that case, if you if you look at uh, columns, right, you find out all the names. Ooh -ooh. Column come. Put three brain data dot columns okay that is column come on yeah so that is the columns so what if we what what if i need uh so column when i say column it just give me these names so what if i need this names so you have to transpose these come here and come here so like transpose right so in that case if you send this name and this name and this column and this column to the uh, to the similarity similarity function so it will you will not have to change the internal mechanism or internal logic you have created for similarity with calculating similarity between using Euclidean distance or either you are using other similarity equation like uh, sim correlation okay here uh here, hence we we just uh, we need names of movies because we have to find the related item for each every item okay that is movie data dot transpose that is columns okay movies uh oh what the heck is this columns then okay that is no columns come on come on columns here we go let's just transfer to list that is a column now now that is iteration for time okay uh, for movie write uh, item in movies that is movies okay so we need to calculate the similarity or we need to find out the just my luck in the loop we have to find out all related item depend on what is the value of n we want to return all right okay mm. score um uh, okay we need another function that find that, that do this task for us to find the similar related item depend in the range of n all right just create new cell okay i did create it now uh, diff top matches items right it will be the data and that is movie and that is equal to five okay 
so we have to just retrieve the most related data from data of movie most related item uh, most related item to the movie from data okay okay again we need what we need again movie names so movies and list data dot transpose and okay that is bridge movies here we go come on okay we, we have to just recall this from here so that it can be easily interpret and easily to understand what understand <laughs> So my name should be okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay, nice. Superman return. It's easy. Okay. That is Superman return. Alright. Yeah now uh yeah that is uh, just my luck so we have to find out the most related item okay most related item to the this one okay okay the, uh, now score yes it's score same correlation and that will be the data and other and okay another thing another thing so if you just look at this place similar correlation there is not correct correlation if you see that data here is calculated on the basis of the column name that and that okay so what if I want to find the similarity between just my luck and that? So the the thing in you need to do is data transpose. That's it. As I mentioned earlier, you, you no, do not need to change any uh, mechanic or uh, do not uh, internal mechanism or uh, internal logic. So if you just let's say we let's let's try this again here to prove am um, I right or wrong. It is just my luck and snake on the planes. Wow. Okay. Samajay? I think it's clear. So the same thing will be do we will do here. Where? Here. Alright. And there is uh, data and Okay, the, the, this is this is uh, finding data correlation, and this movie, it's not a movies, it's movie. Okay, movie, and that will be the other. For other in movies, okay. If other not equals to movie, right? Is, is is everything all right uh, yes this is not all right here we go okay there is some mistake must be okay then anyway, must one thing more so as we have mentioned the data must be already transposed okay yeah all right well, just my luck okay what is the problem here let me okay i found the problem i just passed the video because i don't want to make it too much lengthy okay here i found the problem i just passed the video because i don't want this uh, video clip too much lengthy so here is here is uh, the data right and columns uh oh okay Ooh. Come on. Yeah. So here is movies. I hope.